Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Bray Soul video and today, today we are doing another prediction video where we're pretty much going to get this wrong, but maybe not, maybe this time, the second half of 2020 we're going in big because if you don't know, two weeks ago when we made our last prediction video, I got all three characters right, technically two because we knew Bankai Shui was coming, so we're actually on a streak right now lads, can we keep this streak going, who knows, that being said, if you lads do want to leave your comments down below, leaving your prediction, feel free to do that, we can come back to this video in our 12 hours time and see if we got them right, so this banner, what is it going to be? Well, we do know end of month is going to be Burn the Witch, so we can throw that out the window. We can also throw out the Thousand Year Blood War possibility this month because, as you all know, Thousand Year Blood War banners don't happen as mid-months. They're way too hype to be deserved as a mid-month banner, so I don't see that happening. And then that pretty much leaves two banners, right? Either a made-up seasonal that Caleb can throw out of nowhere, or a premium banner. Now, even though I just mentioned seasonal, that also isn't a possibility, in my opinion, because if you don't know, there has been a pack data mind where Caleb are basically selling us that human killer right to. Now, she is actually a pretty good character, and since they are selling us this pack, in my opinion, this confirms that it's going to be a premium banner, because if it was a seasonal banner, they wouldn't be selling us that pack, they'd be giving us a new seasonal pack. So that is my guess for this banner, it is pretty much guaranteed to be a premium banner, imagine I still say that and they do a, a seasonal banner, that'd be kind of funny. But yeah, I'm going to pretty much stay off the internet for the next 12 hours after me uploading this video, because I don't want to know what this banner is in case it does get leaked, because sometimes they do, right? So, since it is a premium banner, what can this be? Well, Premium banners it can be anything. It can go back to Soul Society, it can go to the Forbringers, to Visits, to Wake of Mundo. There's a lot of characters they can do, and trying to guess the characters, the free characters, is going to be kind of tough. So instead of trying to guess the characters for this video, I'm going to try and guess the theme. So you don't know, every banner does have a theme. The last premium banner that we did get was the Fierce Battle Summons. That does change around, obviously. The first one was set in the Soul Society arc with the Ichigo, Kenpachi, and Aizen. And then the next one we got was the start of the Wake of Mundo arc with the Yoroishi, Kisuke, and Okiora. And then the previous premium banner was the 13 squad summons. That is a common theme that we do get. The 13 squad summons are normally just a way for Kala to give us lieutenant and captain characters. Uh, if you actually look at the past one, there was actually two back to back almost with the 13 squads of respect and affection. And then the 13 squad summons the prize. We could receive another 13 squad summons giving us remade versions of some captains. Maybe like Soifon, maybe maybe Kensei and Rosa's captains. Who knows? Like, that's a possibility. We could also get more lieutenants again. Like Rangaku and Momo, that's a possibility. Ability. I don't think that will happen. We could also get a Redux Summon. The last time we got one of those was May 16th, so that's also a possibility. That seems to be set around Soul Society arc, so I'll be kind of excited for that. And then that's pretty much it, really. Advised Summons, Karakura Battle Summons, also Wake of Mundo. There's a lot of different possibilities we can get for this. And my guess for this prediction is that it's going to be another Wake of Mundo Summons, if not the Karakura Battle Summons. So I feel like the next set of characters that we're going to get is going to be set in the Wake of Mundo arc or the Karakura Battles. Basically, the, you know, the, the Espada arc is what essentially I'm trying to say, right? So maybe, lads, we can get a new Adenero. Maybe. I don't think it will happen. Could, actually. It possibly could. We could also get a new Yami, maybe a new Zamari, maybe base form version of the Espadas that we have yet to receive. You know, Stark could get a character. Lily Net could actually get a canon character. That'd be actually quite exciting. Same goes for Halibel, Baragon. I'm actually really excited if this did happen. And I know Tor did make a prediction a while back talking about Transformers and Espadas, and I'm also in agreement for that. I really do think Caleb are missing out, and they haven't done that yet. It makes perfect sense, right? Start off with an Espada in their base form, use their special, they transform, and they go into their resurrection form. I feel like that's a perfect way to sell us these Espadas again, and I feel like a lot of people would be hyped, because even outside of the character being transforming or not, a lot of people, myself included, want these Espadas in their base forms. I know Adin Yoro, Zamari, and Yami, and even Okira at this point now, they all have their base forms in their game, but characters like Stark, Halle Bell, Baragon, you don't have them in their base form, they're only in their resurrection form. So I would like to see them as 5 stars, because they are 4 stars in the game, where you can see them in their, you know, just normal base form model. I feel like they'd be very cool, and that's kind of my prediction for this video. I feel like the next banner is maybe going to include some Espadas. Maybe include a new Aizen, maybe even another white Ichigo, Tensor, Ishin. Any character from the start of the Wake of Mundo arc all the way to the Aizen defeat, right? That's my prediction. And even though I am trying to guess Espadas, I still feel like for some reason that this banner is going to be kind of just okay. I don't feel like the character options are going to be too many hype characters. Maybe one hype character and two mid characters. And that pretty much means that in the future, when these characters start to become fillers, they're going to become annoying fillers because Caleb hasn't really made one. I guess Centaro and Kione and Isane are annoying fillers. Oh, they're going to start becoming one. But who knows? Who knows? So that's basically a video. Just a 
very short one. I couldn't really give you a solid opinion on a prediction because it could be anyone. I really don't know. I really don't know. So I'm just going to try and guess a theme. Anyone from the Espada arc is my guess. And we'll see if that comes true in like 10 hours time. So again, if you guys want to leave your prediction, make sure you do leave it down below. We'll come back to this video and see if we got them right. If you do, you'll get that almighty heart on your comment. And that's basically all I can offer to you, lads, unfortunately. Wish I could do more, but that's all there really is. So yeah, actually, you know what? For tomorrow's video, I will go into this comment section while recording and see if anyone gets it right. We'll do that. That's what we'll do every time we do a prediction banner. We'll, we'll give out some shout outs to the ones that do get it right. So yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace.